The Corridor Opera The Corridor is a chamber opera composed by Harrison Birtwistle to an English-language libretto by David Harsant. It premiered at the Aldeburgh Festival on 12 June 2009. The title refers to the corridor through which Orpheus and Eurydice passed as he was leading her from the underworld. Background and Performance History Various aspects of the myth of Orpheus have been a recurring theme in Bert Whistle's work, first explored in his three-act opera The Mask of Orpheus 1986 and later incorporated into his two-act opera The Second Mrs. Kong 1994. Between 2003 and 2004, he also composed the Orpheus Elegies, a 26-part song cycle for countertenor, oboe and harp based on Rilke's Sonnets to Orpheus. The corridor focuses entirely on the moment in which Orpheus looks back at Eurydice, thus forcing her to return to the underworld forever. The opera's librettist, David Harsant, considers this one of the most brutal events in mythology. It might not have the direct physical brutality of the death of Actaeon or the flaying of Marcias, but the combination of folly and irreversibility make for something deeper than poignancy and more visceral than regret. Corridor was Harson's third libretto for Bert Whistle. The first two, Gawain 1991 and The Minotaur 2008, premiered at the Royal Opera House in London. The world premiere of The Corridor on 12 June 2009 inaugurated the new Benjamin Britten studio at Aldeburgh and was paired with the premiere of Semper Dowland, Semper Dolan's, Bert Whistle's, setting of John Dowland's Lacrimae, or Seven Tears. Both works were commissioned by the Aldeburgh Festival and the South Bank Center. The premiere production was directed by Peter Gill, with Ryan Wigglesworth conducting the London Sinfonietta. Elizabeth Atherton sang the role of woman Eurydice. Mark Padmore was man Orpheus. The following month, the production and original cast toured to the Queen Elizabeth Hall for the work's London premiere and to the Regents Festival for its Austrian premiere. The Corridor was also performed in 2010 in a concert version at Merkin Hall in New York City, with Brad Lubman conducting the contemporary music ensemble, Signal. On that occasion, the opera was paired with the premiere of Nico Mully's setting of the Stab at Matter. Synopsis In a long corridor, Orpheus leads Eurydice out of the underworld. Hades had made a condition on Eurydice returning to life, that Orpheus not look at her while leading her out. The opera opens just as Orpheus is about to reach the end of the corridor. He turns around to make sure Eurydice is still there, thus condemning her to remain in the underworld forever. In a series of areas, the couple sing to each other as Eurydice retreats down the corridor back to the underworld, leaving Orpheus to return to the world alone. The members of the orchestra are on stage with the singers and serve as the shades spirits of the dead. At times, they are directly addressed by the singers. Scoring The 48-minute work is scored for two singers, soprano and tenor, and an orchestral ensemble of flute, clarinet, harp, violin, viola, and cello. Equals equals, references equals equals, equals.